Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. Guys, I have an amazing video for you today. I'm gonna to be talking about the number one university in the world that researches hydrogen. The video is gonna be a little longer than normal, but I highly recommend staying tuned till the very end because I have so much information and it's all very important and you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned. Now, before I move on also, don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button and the notification so you get future notifications here in the near future. So, before I proceed, I'm gonna be letting you know we're talking about pure hydrogen today. Not to be confused, there's a lot of confusion out there. We're not talking about Brown's gas, we're not talking about something called HHO. We're talking about pure hydrogen. And the reason is, is because that's what the Japanese have researched and that's actually what appears to work better. It's not like they don't know about HHO or Brown's gas, and they definitely know about it. And hydrogen is the one that's giving the, the real benefit, which is this is why this is uh, what I use, uh, the pure hydrogen. Now, let's go ahead and move on to see what the university is actually saying. One of the very first things that they're talking about, and we're primarily talking about one of the lead professors there called uh, Professor Sano. He's like a cardiologist, I believe, and a hydrogen researcher. And one of the things that they're pointing out about hydrogen, guys, super important for things like viruses, your immune system and everything, and they're highly encouraging people in Japan to use hydrogen because of this whole pandemic thing. One of the things that it does is it definitely increases the blood flow. Now, for those of you who don't really understand how important that is, guys, blood flow is super, super important. You have to remember, life is in the blood and movement is life. If I was to just show you guys here, I'll just show you one of these videos. This is an actual lab test live blood analysis of somebody drinking actually this specific hydrogen water so from this specific device and the live blood analysis you can see the blood flow that it caused now before the water it was only moving like this so that tells you a lot right there hydrogen obviously helps with blood flow but it doesn't just do that it also gets really really interesting and this is the thing that they discovered at this top university they discovered also the blood flow into the capillaries obviously helping oxygenate the body and proper absorption of oxygen. All this is really, really important. Also, with, it appears to help with the absorption of nutrients, guys. I'm always talking about the nutrients because you don't want to be deficient in anything. I don't think people think about this enough. Super important, which it helps with that, right? And with ultimately the lung function, maybe even inflammation of the lungs if you're using it for something like COVID. In fact, uh, China has approved hydrogen to be used uh, for people who are dealing with COVID. Now, here's one of the things that it also seems to help with. It, all, it obviously helps with the red blood cells, you know, flowing smoothly, carrying oxygen, and, and recovering certain capillary veins. There's something they call ghost veins, or it's really, a, I believe it's called, yeah, ghost veins. Here, let me just show you guys real quick. So, let's see here. Basically, there's these capillaries, right? And, or ghost blood vessels, there it is. And what happens, guys, is they end up becoming hollow, just kind of empty. And one of the things that the scientists in Japan are observing is that they get flow again, and they get blood in there again, and they really kind of bring them back to life again, and they start functioning good again due to the hydrogen. So again, super, super important to get blood everywhere. Can't emphasize that enough. Now, uh, one of the other things that's important to note is Japan is saying that if, if somebody was sick with something like COVID, that one of the very, very last resorts uh, that they do to basically keep the person alive is to give them oxygen. Now, they do run some risks when they start giving oxygen to people, and they're aware of this. This is literally what the university said. You know, taking oxygen for long periods of times will actually oxidize the lungs and cause damage to something called the alveoli in, long, in the long-term usage. So here I can show you a little bit of an image of the alveoli. Basically what you're looking at is at the very tip of here in your lungs, at the very, very tips, you have these alveoli and they really, really help ox obviously with the absorption, you know, getting that oxygen in there. And when you do oxygen for too long, this is why me personally, I don't, I'm not giving you any medical advice at all, but I don't think it's a good idea to be using oxygen regularly, like supplementation. This is why I think the Japanese stick to, I mean, the, the professionals, they stick to just using pure hydrogen 
oxygen is the last resort. And if you do use it, you want to use it sparingly. They also stated that it can poison the body, actually. Hydrogen obviously helps with those some of those negative effects, but don't think it's just going to magically, you know, keep you from having any damage from uh, supplementing oxygen. So that's, again, one of the reasons that I would not use it regularly. One of the other interesting things um, that they're observing is, uh, let's see here, uh, that not just the inhalation of hydrogen. In fact, when you drink the hydrogen water, it also helps with damage that could potentially be caused in the lungs due to some type of virus or something of that nature. This is the reason actually that I like this device that I'm using because it does both. It does both the inhalation and the water and of course the quality which is something that uh, a lot of people don't touch on the quality of the metals and the product because it's important guys there's a lot of cheap stuff out there from China that's actually can be very damaging uh, to your health and so that kind of defeats the purpose but let's go ahead and move on I'll tell you what else the university was saying um, so again hydration is really really important in regards to this and obviously hydrogen helps a lot with that and can start getting into all these little nicks and crannies. Uh, they did state, does hydrogen directly fight with the virus? No. So hydrogen doesn't directly fight with the virus, but it gets in the body and does all these other things that help the body fight more effectively. So that's obviously very important to note. Uh, they did notice that actually the coronavirus seems to affect the walls of the veins. Uh, blood won't flow correctly or you know as efficiently as it could which also increases your risk of blood clots. It's not good for your organs. It's certainly not good for a cytokine storm. And obviously hydrogen appears to help with that kind of stuff. But the thing that really intrigued me was actually what they call those ghost veins I was telling you about, guys. That's super, super interesting because you're basically able to recover a lot of capillary function, which you lose with age. So that's something that's just super, super crucial. And the other thing that obviously ends up happening, as I stated before, it just helps the function of the red blood cells to be able to oxygen and carry oxygen to the body more effectively. It's actually one of the reasons, again, you don't want to be supplementing oxygen because when you supplement it, your body gets used to it and starts making less red blood cells, which is literally what you use in order to carry the oxygen through the body. This is why you really primarily want to just stick to the amount of oxygen you're getting in your natural environment. And then you can just supplement with something like hydrogen and utilize the oxygen that you do get more effectively. So, and that obviously also helps with the exchange of the carbon dioxide and, you know, the oxygen and those type of things, um, those functions within the body. But the other thing that I will uh, note that they're talking about is improved bowel movements, improved urination, um, absorption, you know, obviously absorbing better and, and being properly hydrated. You really want to prevent dehydration, again, the blood circulation, which they also said it appears that it can really help with lung sickness because a lot of people who either get lung infections, uh, pneumonia, water in the lungs, um, stuff like people who have ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease have had issues with stuff like that also, or just COVID. It seems to help a lot with the, not only the cytokine storm, obviously, um, when people have fibrosis in the lungs, which is basically like damaged lungs, and they either have problems with expanding or sometimes they kind of shrink up. And hydrogen appears to help with both of those type of issues that are caused from damage to the lungs, basically those negative effects. So it can have, again, the capillary proper the function and, <coughs> excuse me, and the better hydration and the better absorption of not just nutrients, but that when the lungs are functioning properly, the exchange of O2 to the carbon dioxide. And it just, the Japanese are saying, it's a, you know, this one particular professor, I believe his name was Sano. He's the one who's basically highly recommending, you know, it's really important to be on hydrogen during a time like this. That would be something that he would obviously um, uh, suggest. And beyond that, guys, it's just really remarkable, really amazing. I can show you one other footage. Also, I think it's important that when you see a lot of these studies, uh, what device or what equipment they're using instead of just saying the word hydrogen because there's just such terrible devices out there that make really unsafe hydrogen. Here's one of my other favorite ones. This one was actually from a doctor's clinic, a medical clinic in Japan. This is somebody's foot. This is thermal imaging. What they did in this test, instead of just using the water, they did use this same device, but instead of using the water, they used a hydrogen gas inhalation 
Um, again, this is actually the number one device in the world that I've seen right now and that they're using in Japan. All these little nano bubbles. The water's super important, guys, not just the inhalation. Don't think for a moment that just inhalation is what you need to be doing. Hydration is super important. Then the inhalation, in a lot of ways, can actually be second. This does the inhalation, and this test that they did here was strictly done from the inhalation of that device. You can see that they were measuring at 28.8 degrees Celsius, very far point from the heart, the temperature. And then when they did the inhalation, and I should really caution in regards to this, I've seen people doing uh, these devices where they, man, they, they use literally directly electrolyzed water from really cheap devices, and it's actually unhealthy to inhale hydrogen. So just be really cautious with the equipment, guys. You gotta do the right thing, but you can see from the HydroFix, the temperature jumped up to 34.1. And this is, you know, the blood circulation is super important. Core body temperature is super important. A lot of people don't realize that the Japanese have also discovered a correlation between core body temperature and just illness and disease, and specifically cancer. Well over 90%, and I can't remember the exact number, but it was really high. It was something like 96 or 98% of all people with cancer have been shown to have lower core body temperatures. And look at what hydrogen did bringing a lot of life to the cells, bringing a lot of life to the body. Super, super important. Pure hydrogen and make sure it is safely made uh, so you don't you know, cause any issues when using it because that's the last thing you want to do when you're trying to improve your health. And that's it, guys. This is just some of the stuff I wanted to share with you. It was you know, really, really exciting information coming from obviously a very reputable source in Japan, I mean, number one hydrogen university in the world, better than anything we have here in the US as far as knowledge and a lot of misinformation out there. So I hope that this helped everybody get some good, accurate information. And thanks for supporting the channel. Don't forget, you know, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll be sharing more information with you guys in the near future about hydrogen and other things. You guys can certainly make comments below and, uh, and ask any other questions that you might have and I'll do my best to answer them. All right, guys, hope all is well. And take care and we'll talk to you guys next time.